Um, I guess we're ready to start? There's serious dueling to be done. A deadly duel. I hope we can teach you a thing or two. I'm more of an immaterial girl myself, and I'm ready for some excitement. I'm gonna bury you. We really have a lot to teach each other, don't we? What's up, team? And thank you for checking in on us. Today, we are going to be continuing our housing gauntlet farming series. Today's episode will be the Spiral Cup Gauntlet. And today, our carry that we have with us is Aaliyah Dark Dreamer. She is a, let's see, I think she's one, yeah, one, I was going to say 140, so with my apologies <laughs> for, for sliding her. So she's 143 myth. So uh, she will be our carry here. So yeah, this is uh, tier one of the Spiral Cup Gauntlet. Uh, some things to know about it. I believe that it was released in 2014. Um, it is Wisteria based. I, I kind of like the dialogue, the story through here. It's not your normal, well, I won't spoil it. You'll hear some of it, or you've already heard some of it, but it's a different different type of story. It's a different type of gauntlet as far from a story standpoint. Now, there are six battles in here. There's two bosses, and the drops that we look for, I guess probably the highlights, what you're really looking for is the energy gear out of here. Now, there's not much that drops on Tier 1, but uh, there is some, and I mentioned there are six fights. Now you can get gear from virtually all the fights. Uh, you, again, I said two bosses, and uh, the rest are elites. But even the elites, you can get some gear. Now again, I, I think there's just a piece or two of actual energy gear that drops in here for tier one. Uh, but you can get, well, actually, oh, uh, Oh boy, his hat that he's got came from here. Uh, I guess I guess I ran him through here moons ago. I don't even remember it, but that is a there is some stitchable gear. I mean, that's all it is. There's no stats with them, but uh, that is kind of the style of that hat there. So, yeah, I guess that's about all I can babble about. Uh, the Green Warden gear. There's you know there's different types. Um, I think it's called Green Warden Energetic. I believe that's the one with the energy. Uh, also, though, uh, Pink Dandelions. If you're a seafall connoisseur, you know those pe uh, Pink Dandelions are they're very, <laughs> very needed. So they drop in uh, several, uh, and possibly all the fights. Uh, you can get uh, Pink Dandelions, so that's that's good as well. So let's go ahead. And Stop jabbering, and let's hop on in here and get this thing going. Moving right along, and Chamber of the Hydra is first. to note on that one. Nope, nope. Just normal, you know, bag fillers, backpack <laughs> space killers. Uh, the other cool thing about this place is the, gosh, the mana and the health that float around here. You don't have to worry about healing much. Well, you know, tier one, you don't have to worry that much at all. So, uh, here we're going. Uh, Hall of the Spectre. Let's go inspect the specter. Well, I, 
I don't mind, you know, Dragon Blade, those type of treasure cards, I don't mind. Nothing else to write home about, though. Next is Hall of the Harpy. Librarian. We're off to the Basilisk. Basilisk. of interest over there. Junk, 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 junk. Backpack filler, backpack filler. Oh dear, here we go. Those guys should have been right here. Check out what I spy with my I, I tell you, when you guys roll through here, if you haven't actually run this yet or before, the these these guys are a hoot to listen to what they've done. It's it's pretty good. All right, got the carry in here. Let's do this. similar to those elites. And hey, we got to go first this time. Run for that. I don't 
see any. Um, but, um, you know. So, yeah. That finishes us up here with Tier 1 of the Spiral Cup Gauntlet. We did end up pulling a 50% go first um, rate. But other than what? Uh, Dragon Blade treasure cards? That was probably the best. I don't think. Uh, see, I don't see any pets or really much of anything. Uh, but I, from what I hear and read of other people's opinions and such, this is not one of the more popular dungeons to farm. Now, again, the you, you'll see the Green Warden crew running around the spiral, you know, that tree looking outfit. And that's that's pretty good energy gear, especially if you don't have to buy a pack for it. And if you, uh, you know, buy this bundle, well, shoot. Yeah, well, I'm going to hold off on that. <laughs> but anyway, if you get the bundle that this dungeon's included in, or this gauntlet's included in, obviously you can run it as run it until you get the whole set but um, anyway that uh, wraps up run number one so let's go ahead and move along to the next one and there we go wrapping up run number two let's see we got a, a jewel here <laughs> great greatness all right let's take a look at the backpack and see what we picked up if anything of course that's the Wearing no hats. I think it's hats and robe. I think you pick up on tier one, or you can. Uh, maybe a wand. No, nah, didn't look like we picked up anything that run. Well, let's hope uh, the upcoming run will treat us a little better. All right, let's take a look. Looks like a housing item. This is kind of a... I think my carry did pick up a dandelion this run. Let's hope that number four brings us something more. That is pushing number four out of the way. I don't think we got anything in this particular line. Goodness gracious. Uh, we didn't pick up a pink dandy line the last time. Let's check our backpack just to make sure well, if I can get out of the chat box. <laughs> uh, blink, blink, blink. All right, I guess not. Well, I I'm feeling good about run five. I'm feeling good about run five. So let's go ahead and hop over there. of Tempest. What exactly is that? Let's take a look at this. Sounds like, you know, no staff. And it looks like the investment of equilibrium <laughs> that I've got on. So I guess one drops per school, I, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, let's check her. Okay, so we got got that robe in this fight. Also. on anything else though. Uh, Carrie, I did see at one fight, uh, she did get a pink dandelion. So I, I think that's about two, I think, that she's gotten. So, uh, oh well, let's keep, keep trucking along. So, run six is now in the books. It looks like we're doing more of the same. I will check the backpack just for good measure. Make sure I didn't miss it. Fucking yeah. so swing and a miss. I didn't even see a pink dandelion that time. Hopefully run seven will be a little slice of heaven. Alright, so run seven. 
how did we do? I did pick up a pink dandelion a few fights back. I guess we could say it's not a complete loss, although doggone, it's awful close to a complete loss. Well, hope we got three more to go, so hopefully they can pick us up. And that brings us to the conclusion of run eight. And I don't think we did anything better than pink dandelions. Both of us got a pink dandelion on fight two. had some pink dandelion sneak up on me. <laughs> okay, so that, what was that, eight? Yeah, so we just wiped out number eight. But let's move along to number nine. And that wraps us up on run number nine. And this was not a good one at all. Heck, we only got to go first once that go around. I did not detect anything or notice anything as we were uh, flying through there. So, well, looks like I picked up another one of those. Great. I've been getting some pets. Uh, I think all, all of these. Okay, well, let's head on to the finale. It's a grand finale. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, team. So we have wrapped it up here. This is our final run. And I wished I had something great to report, but it doesn't look like that I do. Uh, let's hope that maybe we forgot something or didn't see it in that last Uh, you know, we did pick up some pink dandelions, which I'm a big fan of seed vaults. I like to have one outside my red barn farm and inside my red barn farm. Um, looking down here as far as our go first, goodness gracious, we went first about 40% of the time. Uh, there were, looking back at where I marked it down, uh, it was, <laughs> It was almost, uh, we either went first three times or we went first once. Uh, we had a pattern of that going through there. Um, I'm looking at the time. Let's see, I got it whittled down to a couple of seven minute runs. Uh, my longest uh, was 16, I did have a, a deck fail. I mean, it's hard to have a deck fail, but I had a catastrophe on three, so that pushed us out. But I, I would say, you know, there, there towards the end, looking at the amount of time it took me, I was really hitting that uh, seven minute number pretty regularly. So once, once you get going, you can really get that chewed down that time. And it also helps when you leave each fight, after you leave each fight, you kind of start at the beginning of the room and after most fights, you're talking to Benedict, so it's just a straight, you know, it's just a W right into it. But, um, anywho, uh, team, gosh heavens, I do appreciate you guys hanging out with us and uh, checking us out all the way till the end. <laughs> uh, boy, it's always good to have, <laughs> have our favorite librarian. Anyway, I, I, I will let you guys go at this point. And again, I do appreciate it. Hopefully at some point, I will 